Hello, my Sunday School friends. I'm so glad we could be together again today. Let's take a look at our verses. Love the Lord your God, Matthew 22, 37. Go ahead and say that with me, please. Love the Lord your God. Who are we supposed to love? We're supposed to love the Lord. That's right. And what's our friend doing in the picture? She's praying. And that goes along with our other verse. I pray to you, O Lord. Psalm 69, 13. Say that with me, please. I pray to you, O Lord. And when we pray, we can tell the Lord that we love him. We can also tell him things that we're thankful for. And that's what we're looking for in our picture today. I know it says point to who is showing God's love. We already did that. Today we're looking for things that we can be thankful for. Do you see anything on here to be thankful for? Oh, how about friends to play with? Yes, that's good. Oh, how about juice boxes? All right, that's a good thing to be thankful for. And the water and the ocean and the clouds and the sunshine and moms and brothers and sisters and toys. Oh, we have so much that we can be thankful for. That's great. Would you pray with me? Dear God, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for loving us. We love you. Please take care of us this week. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, does anybody know what time it is? It's time to sing a song. So everybody up, come on, we have two songs today. Up, 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 come on, you sing with me. All right, here we go.
loud, okay? Ready? God loves us. Come on, louder. God loves us. God loves us. God loves us and sent his son. Good job. Like my lion. Where might you see a lion? Maybe on TV? Maybe at the zoo? Those are the only places I've ever seen a lion, except for Pastor Harvey's lion. It's kind of cute, huh? Well, our story today has lions in it. Now you're going to have to use your imagination because we're not out in a green field in our story today. But our story, our true story, is found in the book of Daniel in the Bible. You remember Daniel. We've been learning about him for a few weeks. There he is. Daniel was an important helper to King Darius. Here's the king who was also probably not standing out in a field. King Darius of Babylon. Daniel did very good work, and everybody knew that Daniel loved God. Three times a day, Daniel opened his window and what's he doing? He prayed to God. People could see him praying. Now because Daniel worked very hard, King Darius made Daniel his most important helper. Some men hmm, were angry. They were jealous. They were angry that the king liked Daniel better than he liked them. So these men thought of a way to get Daniel in trouble with the king. They went to the king and said, King Darius, we think you should make a rule or a law that everyone must pray only to you. If people pray to anyone else but you, they will be thrown into a cave filled with, you guessed it, lions. The king thought this rule was a good idea. He sent messengers everywhere to tell people that they must pray only to the king. The angry men watched Daniel the men wondered, oh, what will he do? Will he pray to God? Will he pray to the king? Now, Daniel probably knew that the angry men were watching. But he opened his window, just like always. Hmm, guess we should switch sides. Just like always, he prayed to God just like he always did. And whoosh, off those men ran to tell the king what they had seen. We saw Daniel. We saw Daniel praying to God instead of you. You must punish him, they said. Well, King Darius did not want to punish Daniel, but the Angry men said, you must punish Daniel. That is what your new rule says to do. Oh, dear. So Daniel was taken to a big cave. I don't have a cave, so use your imagination. He was taken to a big cave where hungry lions were kept. Daniel was put into the cave with the lions. And all night long, King Darius worried that the lions would hurt Daniel. Now, very early the next morning, King Darius ran to the lion's cave. 
Daniel, Daniel, the king called. He waited. He listened. <gasps> then he heard Daniel's voice. King, I am safe. God took care of me. And Daniel, said Daniel, the lions have not hurt me. God sent an angel to shut their mouths. <gasps> Quickly called the king to the soldiers, get Daniel out of the cave. Daniel came out of the cave and now the king knew that God had helped Daniel and kept him safe from the lions. They're out of the cave. King Darius made a new law now that everyone should love Daniel's God and pray only to him. Daniel loved God and prayed to him every day. And we can pray to God too. We can tell God we love him. We can ask him for his help. The Bible says, I pray to you, O Lord. Oh, well, I'm so glad you could be with us today. And I look forward to seeing you next time or to you seeing me next time. Anyway, until we can get together again, remember God loves you and so do I. Bye.